Hello friends, welcome to iReviewAbout.com. Today I am going to tell you how to save the buffered video that you are going to play the video generally on the U websites like YouTube, Facebook, MySpace, online. And later then, uh, when you find it, the video is important, then you download those videos. So basically, you download the video two times during the buffer time and as well as to save the video um, via some download manager. I'm going to uh, give you some tricks by which you don't need any special software to save the uh, save uh, to download any video. Um, I'm going to tell you the basic trick by which you can um, just save that uh, buffered video into your local hard disk permanently. I'm going to tell you best browser for this purpose is the Maxon mm, that I am going to show you. Before that I am going to tell you where you find the uh, temporary files of that browsers. You have to go inside the mm, uh, hard, you need to go into the drive where the window is installed. Under that you need to uh, select the user and the user by which you have uh, login into your system then you need to go to app data uh, this app data is a hidden folder so you need to make it feasible then you need to go in local no, um, yeah, local Here you find all the um, listed um, application that uses that uh, local directory uh, uh, I'm going to use the max phone so I'm going to select the temporary folder Maxon 3 Cassie. So, this is the folder where the data have been generated. I'm going to select the folder. Here you can see the number of uh, listed files are already here. So, it's not easy to for me to download to down, uh, to save that buffer video. So, I'm going to delete the all this data so that it's easy for me to find out the video part. I'm going to open my web browser and uh, I'm going to uh, say YouTube. If you s check out this, this directory already have been filled by some uh, temporary files, right? Uh, right now we didn't buffer any video so we need to search some video first I'm going to search one minute dance music the best video for a smaller video yeah this one is a 57 second I'm going to demonstrate it now with this video file so I have clicked this video and uh, now it's buffered in mm, I'm going to click close so right now it's buffered Mm, you see how fastly it's buffered and actually these data have been saved into this cache directory I'm going to show you how you can find out once it is completed just to check out to close the yeah once the buffer is completed you will see the one of the files will be updated yeah this one it's easy to find but uh, generally it's not easy as in this scenario because uh, it's a small video uh, the size is uh, 2 MB uh, uh, if you buffer the large video you'll find the larger um, larger files so it's easy and so it's make distinct from the other files that have been presented here so uh, I, as I already cleared all this temporary files so it's easy for me to find out which is actually the file so let's play with your player yeah here yeah, you can check it as I told you uh, this is the video file you can s even hear that and with those I'm going to just a second this is the video file right 
so it's already downloaded 57 video 50 seconds 57 second video so in the 56 inches is something not uh, in time but actually the same video if you compare with uh, data you can find it same so this is how to find the buffered video into your browser I am going to show you um, browser also uh, where they actually the inputting data we will see it so this is the next one see it's a special browser uh, for the internet browser as the internet browser also um, internet explorer also save data somewhere the time directory right now in max one so it's um, save their data as well so uh, you need to find out the other data as well so for google chrome you will find the uh, chrome user data default and cafe here is all the file will be updated according to the, the loaded video or some other data so similarly you will find others as well firefox but uh, in firefox and mozilla firefox and uh, opera it's not easy to find out the exact data because it will create a multiple folder nested folder uh, in their cache so it's not easy to find out the actual uh, actual cache data uh, like as uh, this one is for the uh, firefox path it's not easy to find out in which directory actually the data have been saved so it's easy to use the uh, uh, maxton browser where the data has been saved um, into the single directory as uh, similarly you can also find out the google chrome uh, google chrome data here as i had already told you uh, similarly the opera like browser and there uh, you will find the cache yeah uh, there are the multiple folder as i am before i'm going to so all these things i've already deleted some items so that's why you've seen some few folder only but it's not easy to find out which folder we find the actual cache video so it's better to use the maximum browser uh, for this purpose uh, this makes you uh, makes it easy to save the video and also save your time. You don't need any special software to download all these things. So this is how you can save the buffered video and stop the downloading. For more information, even you can check out my website at following path. I hope it will help you. Thanks for watching it.